this is what do you see in 2023? And uh, hopefully you don't lose your job in 2023 or you lose your house. But I want to go into a few things you can do to not be a victim of what's happening. I simply tell you what I do. And what I do is I just don't trust my government. I don't trust the government. I mean, the, I don't trust Biden. And I definitely don't trust Wall Street. You know, in Wall Street, only people that make money are insiders. So with that said, I personally don't trust anything that can be printed. I, I, I watch YouTube and I don't know who's a credible source. That's the most important thing. Who do you get your information from? And in the finance market, it is best you don't listen to anybody under 30 because all they've known is a good economy. And then that's why you buy the dip, don't fight the Fed and all that. Well, the Fed's the cause of our problem, along with the Treasury, as well as Wall Street. So you have to understand why Robert does not trust the Federal Reserve. We can just even look back a couple of years ago and see how the Federal Reserve was handling inflation. We look back here in 2021 and you can very clearly see that inflation is getting out of control. A whole year of 2021, the CPI inflation data is just going parabolic. And the Federal Reserve, what were they doing during the year of 2021? They were not raising interest rates at all. You can see interest rates were completely flat for the entire year of 2021. We did not get a interest rate increase from the Federal Reserve until March of 2022. So it took them a whole year for inflation to have to just go parabolic to actually raise the interest rates. And now it seems, in my personal opinion, that the Federal Reserve is doing the opposite. If we go to the yearly chart here, we can see that inflation is starting to level off, not really going up at all over the past six months from around June to December. But right now, they are continuing to raise rates. If we see the year over year, over the past year, we have raised interest rates from zero all the way up to around four and a half percent. It just seems like they're going a little overboard. And this is why a lot of people like Kathy Wood Elon Musk believe deflation is going to be coming here in 2023. And this is what the Bitcoin bros believe is going to happen as well. We buy we buy damaged property all the time. I'm just I just invest. I'm not I'm not really a real estate guy. I invest in real estate because of debt. And the more debt I have, the less tax I pay. But that's financial education. Mm -hmm. yep. So I'd like to leave this with this thought right here. What Jim was saying is I don't save cash. I save gold and silver, and I've been saying that for most of my life. You know, I, I have tons, I, I literally do have tons of gold and silver. To me, that's cash because it's liquid. <laughs> if I have a gold coin, I can spend it today. So I'd rather save gold coins and silver coins, and I do. I own gold mines and silver mines. So a part of being an old guy and all this, and I've lost many opportunities because I just don't trust the stock market because in my opinion, and I could be wrong, I think the stock market is rigged. Just as gold and silver is rigged. You know, it's, it's called, I forget the name of all this stuff, but if you buy SLV, which is silver, it's an ETF, how do you know there's any silver there? You buy GLD, which is paper gold, how do you know there's any gold there? You really don't. So I'm kind of a skeptic and a cynic, much like or cautious. I'd rather have the physical gold and silver in my hands if you can get it. So something very similar to what Robert is talking about there with the gold and silver premiums. Every time he holds gold and has the physical gold coin, normally you have a premium to the upside. And we see something similar with the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC. Right now it's running at a negative 40% premium. So you can buy Bitcoin right now for around $23,000, but if you get it in GBTC, it's 40% less. This is one of the reasons why you want to actually own the physical asset. You want to own Bitcoin, hold your own keys, take it off of these exchanges because you don't know what they're going to be doing with your Bitcoin and crypto. That's why we always recommend cold storage. But you can see the parallel there between Bitcoin, silver, and gold. So I've been preparing for this crisis coming for years and years and years. 
So let me dumb it down because one of the best things about rich dad is we like do our best to keep it simple. My philosophy, and I don't expect you to agree with me, is I don't touch anything the government can print. So I don't trust cash. <laughs> I don't trust stocks. I don't trust bonds. And I simply trust things they cannot print. So when I invest in oil, I don't oil, invest in oil stocks. I invest with my friend Mike Maselli because we own oil wells. So what happened was when Biden took the Keystone XL pipeline offline, it was one of the first acts he did. That's why I knew he was working for Klaus Schwab of the World Economic Forum. He took oil off the Keystone pipeline off. I was pumping oil at 30 bucks a barrel. So I was happy. The moment he cut off the Keystone pipeline at that time, I think it went over $100 a barrel. So I was watching Biden do this in 2020 when he came in. And I went, he's screwing us. Biden is intentionally screwing the poor middle class. So when the price of oil went up, unfortunately, I get richer. I have more cash. I buy more gold, silver, and real estate. The second thing, so I don't, I don't buy anything they can print. I invest in land and property, which is I control via the asset, the the, the, the um, be called interest rate. No, he didn't mention Bitcoin in today's clip, but you can see right here, Robert definitely likes Bitcoin. Being an entrepreneur requires doing business with stand-up, trustworthy, strong, honest people. I would never do business with VP Pence or Biden. Yet leaders of the world did. Sad, small, wonder our world is in crisis. I trust gold, silver, Bitcoin, not our leaders. And, you know, the Bitcoin bros don't have any problem with any Democrats, Republicans. You know, we take a very neutral stance. But the one thing you can trust is math. You can trust Bitcoin. It's never been hacked. There's only a set supply of BTC. You know, Robert likes gold and silver as well. But I definitely want to tip my hat off to Robert because not a lot of these older finance guys really like bitcoin and crypto because they just don't understand the new technological wave that's happening and that's something we've seen time and time again but so many young people are very interested and invested in bitcoin and crypto and it is what is coming next nobody wants to invest in silver and gold and mutual funds and bonds People are looking at things like Bitcoin, which takes the power out of the government's control. You give the power back to yourself by holding a limited, scarce, finite asset like Bitcoin. So something to think about. But thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of today's video. If you found any value, make sure to hit that like button. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I want to know what you guys think is going to happen in 2023. Are we going to see a deeper recession? Are we going to bounce back? Let us know what you guys think. Put it down there. And my name is Aaron from Bitcoin Bros. I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.